Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I am going to be doing a review on Charlotte Tilbury's new luxury palette of pops. This is also a holiday release. So I have full swatches. I will be doing some comparisons to some older palettes from Charlotte Tilbury, as well as creating a full look with this palette. So let's get right into it and see if this palette is really worth it. So the packaging for this palette looks like so. It is fully gold with some shimmer to it. Now, this palette is a quad palette. Now, Charlotte describes this palette as a four color coded eye gliding shades that glimmer with translucent jewel inspired sparkle to make your eyes pop. Now, this one has pearl pigments with a brilliant mirror like reflection that gives your eyes a magical molten sparkly finish. Now, these are very sparkly. There is no matte shades whatsoever in there. So I probably would mix this up with another kind of matte shade from her previous releases. My personal preference is to kind of mix matte and shimmer shades on my eyelids. I don't usually like to go for an eyeshadow look that's mainly all shimmer shades, but that's what we're gonna do today. We're just gonna utilize this whole entire palette, really give you a full review of this palette alone. So I just wanted to zoom you guys in and show you a comparison. This is the Super Blue palette. Um, this is a luxury palette that was released this year. And this shimmer shade here, it's a very pretty blue shade. So I just really want to compare it to the darker shade in this palette. Let's get some more. This one is a little bit more patchy. I feel like this shade here in the new palette is more creamy and it's definitely more pigmented. But that's the blue in the super blue palette. As you can see, they are very different. And then we have another blue shade in the Iconic palette. This palette was released last year by Charlotte Tilbury. So let's pick up this blue shade in here. And I just want to swatch it. Okay, so definitely all three shades are very different from each other. They're all really pretty but I do love the pigment in the new palette. So let's just get right into it. I'm pretty excited to try these on. I am first going to start with this pink shimmer shade. It really looks so pink in the pan, but when I swatched it, it's just a silver shimmer. Honestly, I feel that that shade just added some shimmer to my eyelids and uh, I don't know, it's not probably a color that I would start. I just feel like I need a matte shade uh, to kind of do a transition to my eyes, but that's okay. We're just going to stick to this palette. I am not going to use anything else. So I'm just going to use my fingers and pick up this gold shade and I'm going to apply it all over my lid. That is a lot of glitter on my eyelids, but I do feel like I do want to add a little bit of a smoke on the outer corner. So I'm going to pick up this darker gold shade and just tap it on the outside. That definitely added a little bit more dimension to the initial gold shade looks really pretty. I really don't think you can use brushes with this palette. I just feel like I'm not getting any color payoff when I use brushes, uh, but when I use my fingers, I definitely see a lot more color payoff. Now I do want to add some darkness to this look. So we are going to grab this teal shade and I think I'm going to do a, a type of liner using that shade. So those are the eyeshadows without any mascara or any eyeliner. It's just solely this palette. And I have a lot of thoughts about this, but I'm going to go ahead and put some mascara and I will be right back. So I just added some mascara and eyeliner and I have to say, I'm pretty disappointed. I think at $53, this is so not worth it. I mean, the color payoff, it's just not there. It's not as creamy of a formula as Charlotte's other eye palettes. And don't get me wrong, you guys know how much I love Charlotte Tilbury products. Her skincare is so good. I use it every single day. I love her eyeshadow formula, but this one, I definitely don't feel it was worth it. I feel that you can't really use it with brushes. I didn't see that color payoff when I tried to use it with a brush. This palette right here, the super blue palette, 
I feel like it's so much more worth it. The gold shades in this are so creamy and the blue shades, you, bo you have both a shimmer and a matte shade, which are gorgeous on the eyes. I absolutely love this palette. I think it complements my eyes so much, but this palette here, ooh, too much shimmer. I feel like it's not creamy at all. And I don't know, I just, I don't like the formula whatsoever. I really am disappointed. It's $53, not worth it at all. Now I did a full review of Charlotte's new holiday palette. This is the Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize. And honestly, this is very worth it. I love this palette. I love the formula. I love how creamy it is. Even the shimmer shades, they're so finely milled that they are just the perfect consistency. In comparison, this palette here, the shimmers are just so chunky. It's not worth it at all. You definitely need to use another palette for it to really look beautiful on the eyes. And in all honesty, I don't feel like my eye look looks that pretty today at all. I think save your money this is not worth it. I am always so honest with you guys. Now, I love Charlotte Tilbury, and I think for a makeup lover that loves to collect makeup, this is probably worth it in the sense that you already have so many other palettes. So it does look good if you complement it with other shades. So say you're using a gold shade in here and you want to heighten that shimmer just a little bit more, I think it would be beautiful to add this shimmer shade right on top, just patting it in. Again, if you're using the blue shade, in this palette if you want to heighten the the texture and the shimmer in this blue shade you could definitely add this shade over here and I think it would look gorgeous right on top but as a standalone palette I definitely feel that you it really doesn't create such a gorgeous look on its own it's definitely a palette where you need to use something else to kind of mix and match with it and kind of to heighten that sparkle just a little bit so I think I'm going to end this video here. I am glad that I tried this on so that if you guys were thinking about this palette, hopefully this video gave you a better insight of what this palette really is like and whether or not it is suitable for you. I will always be honest with any of my reviews here. If I don't like a product, I will make sure to let you guys know that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.